Well, in the aftermath of the mass shooting uh, shootings of police officers in Dallas, the recent attack on police in Baton Rouge, and of course the shooting of our own Baldwin police officer, Mike Flamian, who we learned yesterday is paralyzed from the neck down. You've probably stopped to question, where are we headed as a society? And what can we do to stop the hate and start the healing process? That's a lot of ground to cover, my friends. Uh, but here to offer some insight is race relations expert and diversity consultant, Jason Greer. Jason, thank you for so much for being with us. Thanks for having me on. I'm afraid this conversation could go on indefinitely. Uh, Absolutely. And so I and I want to cover a lot of ground, but before I do, I want to say hi to your mom because I know she's a big, <laughs> she's a watcher of the she show. She loves right? the show. Well, loves the hi show. mom. Thanks for watching and thanks for sending your son over to help us out today. Um, I'm, I just I want to narrow it all down and just get your take on what's at at the root of these shootings. Wonderful question. I think at the root of the shootings, it's fear. It's fear of the unknown. I mean, you have police officers. Let's be real. Police officers, every single decision is a life or death choice. And they're hoping that they get it right more often than they get it mm -hmm. wrong. I think on the other side, you have uh, communities, in this particular case, African-American communities, that are worried about being on the receiving end of that wrong choice. Mm -hmm. So right now, it's really a failure to communicate, and it's just overall fear. On both sides. On both sides. So is, do you feel like we've reached a boiling point? Because we talked before uh, the segment in the break, and I sure. just said, I think there are people right now who are just saying, just get us back to where we were. Right. It was ugly, but it's a lot better than this because this is, uh, this is getting out of hand, way out of hand. Absolutely. And are, is there, are, are there in, in your mind, are there signals that we've reached that pivotal point yet? Absolutely. I think we're at, a, we're at an inflection point. I mean, you called it a tipping point, but I think the signal to me is we're having this conversation. And blessedly, we're having this conversation across the country where people are starting to ask the bigger question, what are we getting wrong? Because at a certain point, we have police officers dying, we have African-American males that are dying, we have so much death, we have sons and daughters who are not gonna see their fathers. Just in the case of the uh, Dallas police officers, Baton Rouge, and unfortunately here in Baldwin. Uh, we're just at that point where we need to start asking ourselves the bigger question. I mean, it's easy to have these conversations. Absolutely. You and I are having a nice conversation right now. Right. But are we talking about the right things? I think we're talking about the right things. But if we're talking about, if we're talking about this from the short-term perspective, we're missing out. The long-term perspective has to be right. we need to step outside of our silos. So many of us live in communities with people who look just like us, talk sure. like us, and think like us. Therefore, they're us. It's a greater world out here. And the more you experience other people, other cultures, other genders, whatever the case might be, you have a greater perspective on the fact that we're part of a human race. Right. But I, but, and this is going to get touchy, but I, Absolutely. I'm, I feel, okay, I'm definitely from that white privilege background that we've heard a lot lately. And as a young black man growing up in North County who, who doesn't see the potential and doesn't see the growth and doesn't have these conversations and right. knows that you 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 to us we can talk all day but it's not going to change his life agreed he's still angry and he's still bitter and i might be a a, a well-meaning white privileged guy but i don't know what and i don't know what the right things to do are and i don't know that i'm willing to make the sacrifice sure maybe i think i am but what what is that sacrifice I, that's what i want to figure out i think that sacrifice is your vulnerability and i think there's a lot of people like me don't absolutely you? Okay. I think there's a lot of people like you, but I think I don't think it's just a white thing. I think it cuts across uh, various races. I think that the thing that has to be sacrificed is our vulnerability. People are scared of making mistakes. You're scared of saying the wrong thing. You're scared of doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but ultimately, the more you experience, the more you put yourself out there, the better you become at it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you talk about the uh, young African American kid who's sitting around. He's not hearing or having these conversations. Right. Education changes that. Yeah. Right? I mean, I can't tell you the number of people that I encountered just being a freshman of Alparaiso University. You're, you have no choice but to interact with people who are different than you. Mm -hmm. I think ultimately we have to get back to a point of, I can continue to blame you all day long for what ails me. You can continue to blame me all day long for what ails you. But at a certain point, we have to take responsibility for who we are and what we are. Right. I think, and, and to keep the conversation alive, I think is vital at this point. Absolutely. Because that, that's my concern too, is that we do get back to where we were and, and stall. Right. We need to use this as a stepping stone to make real progress. I completely I agree. Okay. 
Will you come back? Because I, I know there's back. no way we can cover this kind of ground in the, in the amount of time we do. Let's do. Thank you for being here. Uh, for more information, we posted a link to Greer Consulting on GreatDayStLouis.com. Great conversation, Absolutely. gentlemen. <clears throat> Next time, bring mom, too. Is yeah, that okay? definitely. Hi, mom. definitely. Welcome anytime. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Really, that was great. Mm -hmm. Very insightful. Yeah. And, Matt, we just heard from two very smart guys. Yeah. We are pretty smart yeah, here okay. on Great 